Enslaved Africans have been shipped to the Americas since the Spanish arrived in the early 1500s. Europeans purchased slaves along the coast of West and Central Africa. The chained captives were forced onto ships destined to the New World for the long and brutal voyage known as the Middle Passage. Conditions on the ships were indescribably inhumane. The enslaved Africans weren't treated as human beings. They were treated like cargo. Men and women shackled together, uh, stacked on top of each other. There was a process known as tight packing, where you literally had slave trading scientists who tried to figure out the maximum way to squeeze as many human beings as possible into the holds of these ships. Incredibly, about 12.5 million Africans were shipped to the New World between 1525 and 1866. About 15% didn't survive the journey. Four centuries of trafficking in human beings, and over the course of that time, we're talking about millions of souls involved and millions of souls lost. And yet people endured, and yet they survived. The overwhelming majority went to destinations other than North America. Of the 12.5 million Africans shipped to the New World as slaves, it's estimated about 450,000 landed on our shores. While a law passed by Congress in 1808 banned the transatlantic slave trade, thousands of slaves are estimated to have been smuggled into our country up to the Civil War. By 1860, the enslaved population in the United States had grown to about 4 million people, a staggering number when you consider that the national population at the time was 31 million. The horrors of slavery in the United States would persist until 1865, when following the end of the Civil War, the 13th Amendment was ratified. But the repercussions of institutional slavery are still being felt to this day as African-Americans continue to fight for equal rights and for the right to be heard. 